So what I'll do is I'll take the first question and I'll try to reply. The first question comes from Mr. Mihir Kulkarni. Congratulations, the first ever question answered live to Mihir. Mihir's question is here. The passenger car market is expected to grow at 16% CAGR. Yes, making India the third largest market by 2020, similar to China. How does Mercedes-Benz India plan to tap this and launch products catering to the above growth percentage? This question was from Facebook. So here is Mihir. Well, Mihir, I, I think, uh, thank you for your first question. I think there's a lot of optimism. What, you, what I see in your question, and it, you are partially true that Mercedes, uh, the passenger car market in India is uh, last year, it was the seventh largest in the world. And as per the latest statistics, which I could collect, it's the sixth largest this year. And of course, the growth rate is very, very impressive as we see 15 to 16% the compounded annual growth rate. I'm not too sure whether we'll catch up with China by 2020. It's a little difficult because we are exactly today where China was 10 years back. But one thing for sure, if the growth rate continues in this space, uh, Indian automobile market will be uh, definitely the top three after US and China. And if India automobile market goes to those heights, the luxury car industry is bound to go. I'll give you some statistics, me. Uh, right now, the penetration of the luxury car to the passenger market, that is the total size of the luxury car market 2011 was roughly around 24,000 vehicles. And the total size of the Indian automobile market was roughly around 2.5 million. It makes the luxury car market roughly 1% of the total market. So the penetration level is pretty low at one. To give you a similar statistics in China, it is on today roughly in the range of 4% uh, plus. And if you go to developed economies like Germany, it's roughly around 12 to 13% of the total market. Now that means that if India really grows to the extent, as you said in your question, at a 15 to 16% CAGR, as per the specialist, uh, maybe the, the McKinsey's and the Booz and companies, what they say, the Indian auto market is going to touch somewhere in the range of 6 to 8 million cars by 2020. We service 2.4 million today, last year. And if it reaches to those ranges, the luxury car market, which is roughly going at 40 to 50% compounded annual growth rate in the last 5-6 years, will have a higher penetration than what is today at 5-1%, maybe at the range of 2-3%. And that will be a big, big number. We are talking about a 6 million market, let's say conservatively. And 2-3% to 3 of that will be roughly around 200,000 luxury cars sold in India. We service only 25,000 today. Now, if we do not take a part in that growth, I say, well, I mean, this is a very, very, uh, I mean, uh, not a best thing to do. Mercedes-Benz, of course, will be uh, having a considerable uh, share of that luxury car segment, which will be roughly 200,000. And as you know that, Car manufacturing or car business is not a short term game. It's a lot about long term strategies. It's talked about products, brands, your distribution center net up. It takes you four, five, seven years to have your real fruits. Honestly speaking, all the strategies what we put in place today, be it our distribution network, be it our product portfolio, which we plan for the next four to five years, be it our product expansion and the plant expansion, our security portfolio expansion, and of course, a lot of work goes on back end, which you guys don't see when you buy a car or see a car in terms of IT processes, in terms of manpower ramping. So as a package, I think that's when the real fun comes in getting the volumes together. Of course, we are focusing very, very strongly, keeping a close eye, uh, close eye on the growth of the market and uh, planning our strategies well in products, uh, factory, distribution and brand.